The transportation industry generates the largest share of greenhouse gas emissions. In the United States alone, the sector was responsible for 28% of the greenhouse gases emitted in 2018, and over 90% of the fuel used for transportation is petroleum-based, which includes primarily gasoline and diesel. Within transportation, the aerospace sector is a key source of carbon emissions, producing about one-fifth as much as what cars contribute in a year. In recent years, the push to convert to renewable energy has been seen in the automotive industry, with more and more electric cars being sold every year. However, the aviation industry has been relatively quiet. Why so? So how do we reduce the dependency on jet fuel in aircraft? Putting a battery on an aircraft is an idea, but it's an idea that is very difficult to engineer. Most modern batteries are lithium-ion batteries, which are found in our phones, cars, laptops, and many other items. They are cheap to produce and have a relatively long lifespan. The problem with putting lithium-ion batteries on aircraft is that they have an extremely low energy density. Energy density can be defined as the amount of energy in megajoules that can be scored per kilogram. The best lithium-ion batteries available today have an energy density of 0.9 megajoules per kilogram whereas modern jet fuel has an energy density of between 43 and 48 megajoules per kilogram, which is roughly 50 times greater than that of lithium ion batteries. That is a substantial difference which makes putting batteries on airplanes extremely difficult unless there was a major breakthrough in lithium ion technology. Unlike cars or trains, mass is a key design factor for aircraft, so how much weight you put on a plane would determine whether it can fly or not. So having the lightest possible plane is a must and with the very low energy density that lithium ion batteries provide, it is a very hard task to accomplish. Lithium air batteries could offer a potential solution, however, that technology is still relatively untested. Batteries have longer charging times and they only last for two months, leading to vast amount of e-waste and maintenance costs. One promising solution, however, is hydrogen fuel cells. Unlike lithium ion batteries, hydrogen fuel cells have a much higher energy density, around 120 megajoules per kilogram, which is almost three times that of jet fuel. A typical fuel cell works by passing hydrogen through the anode of a fuel cell and the oxygen through the cathode. At the anode site, a catalyst splits the hydrogen molecules into electrons and protons, where the electrons are forced through a circuit generating an electric current. At the cathode, the protons and electrons and oxygen combine to produce water molecules. As there are no moving parts, fuel cells can operate silently with extremely high reliability. However, this technology is still relatively new and will take time until it's fully implemented into air travel. Some manufacturers are already showing interest in creating designs for plans that will work with hydrogen fuel cells. In September 2020, Airbus unveiled a concept design for three separate aircraft that will work with hydrogen-powered engines. The first one is a turboprop with two hybrid hydrogen engines. This model is expected to carry up to 100 passengers with a flying range of at least 1,000 nautical miles, which is equivalent to the distance between Washington DC and Dallas, or Frankfurt to Istanbul. In this design, the liquid hydrogen storage and the distribution system is located behind the rear pressure bulkhead of the plane. The second design that was unveiled was the turbojet with two hybrid hydrogen turbofan engines boarding up to 200 passengers and a flying range of 2,000 nautical miles which is equivalent from DC to Los Angeles or Frankfurt to Tehran. The third one is a blended wing body concept design with a wide interior design where the liquid hydrogen storage tanks are stored underneath the wings. This design also deploys turbofan engines and has similar specifications to that of the turbojet. Airbus plans to finalize these designs by 2025 and have them flying by 2035. While large commercial designs are being fleshed out, the first commercial-grade hydrogen-powered aircraft made its first maiden flight on September 24, 2020. The plane was a six-seater Piper M aircraft retrofitted by Zero Avia, and it flew for around 50 minutes north of London. Zero Avia announced that their next step will be to carry out a flight of between 250 and 300 nautical miles off the Orkney Islands off the north coast of Scotland before the end of 2020. Over the next years, we will see more and more flights with zero emissions. These will initially be smaller planes, carrying less than 50 passengers over shorter distances. They will either be powered by hydrogen fuel cells or come as electric vehicles that can take off and land vertically. 
There are currently around 200 electric aviation companies backed by more than $1 billion from investors around the world. These companies are working on regional aircraft and shorter distance urban air mobility solutions such as point-to-point -point flying taxis, electric multicopters, and personal passenger drones. These will mostly be used within urban areas to bypass traffic congestions. As existing aircraft complete their service over the next 20 to 30 years and battery technologies evolve, hopefully the skies will be filled with all sizes of commercial aircraft producing little to no emissions.